SN. Translated by Bhikkhu Bodhi. SUTTACentral.net and Suttas.com. Part 2 The Book of Causation, Nitanabhaga Samayuta, Chapter 8 Lakhana Samayuta, with Lakhana, 054, SN.19.1 SN.19.10, SN.19.1 of the Sutta, the skeleton thus have I heard. On one occasion the Blessed One was dwelling at Rajagaha, in the bamboo grove, the squirrel sanctuary. Now on that occasion the Venerable Lakhata and the Venerable Mahamajalana were dwelling on Mount Vulture Peak. Then, in the morning, the Venerable Mahamajalana dressed and, taking bowl and robe, he approached the Venerable Lakhata and said to him, Come, friend Lakhata, let us enter Rajagaha for alms. All right, friend, the Venerable Lakhata replied. Then, as he was coming down from Mount Vulture Peak, the Venerable Mahamajalana displayed a smile in a certain place. The Venerable Lakhata said to him, For what reason, friend Magalana, did you display a smile? This is not the time for that question, friend Lakhata. Ask me that question when we are in the presence of the Blessed One. Then, when the Venerable Lakhata and the Venerable Mahamajalana had walked for alms in Rajagaha and returned from their alms round, after their meal they approached the Blessed One. Having paid homage to the Blessed One, they sat down to one side, and the Venerable Lakalshita said to the Venerable Mahamajalana, here, as he was coming down from Mount Vulture Peak, the Venerable Mahamajalana displayed a smile in a certain place. For what reason, friend Magalana, did you display that smile? Here, friend, as I was coming down from Mount Vulture Peak, I saw a skeleton moving through the air. Vultures, crows, and hawks, following it in hot pursuit, were pecking at it between the ribs, stabbing it, and tearing it apart while it uttered cries of pain. It occurred to me, it is wonderful, indeed. It is amazing, indeed. That there could be such a being, that there could be such a spirit, that there could be such a form of individual existence. Then the Blessed One addressed the Bhikkhus thus, Bhikkhus, there are disciples who dwell having become vision, having become knowledge, in that a disciple can know, see, and witness such a sight. In the past, Bhikkhus, I too saw that being, but I did not speak about it. For if I had spoken about it, others would not have believed me, and if they had not believed me that would have led to their harm and suffering for a long time. That being Bhikkhus, used to be a cattle butcher in the same Rajagaha. Having been tormented in hell for many years, for many hundreds of years, for many thousands of years, for many hundreds of thousands of years as a result of that Kama, as a residual result of that same Kama he is experiencing such a form of individual existence. While walking for alms down Vulture's Peak, Venerable Magalana smiled at something invisible. Later, he told the Buddha it was a skeleton flying through the air, being pecked at by vultures. The Buddha confirmed that the man he had seen had been a butcher in his past life. SN 19.2 Pasi Sutta, The Piece of Meat Here, friend, as I was coming down from Mount Vulture Peak, I saw a piece of meat moving through the air. Vultures, crows, and hawks, following it in hot pursuit, were stabbing at it and tearing it apart as it uttered cries of pain. That being, Bhikkhus, was a cattle butcher in the same Rajagaha. SN.19.3 Pindasutta, The Lump of Meat I saw a lump of meat. That being was a poultry butcher in the same Rajagaha. SN.19.4 Nikavi Sutta, The Flayed Man I saw a flayed man. That being was a sheep butcher in the same Rajagaha. SN.19.5 Asaloma Sutta, Sword Hairs I saw a man with body hairs of swords moving through the air. Those swords kept on rising up and striking his body while he uttered cries of pain. That being was a hawk butcher in the same Rajagaha. SN.19.6 Sati Sutta, Spear Hairs I saw a man with body hairs of spears moving through the air. 
those spears kept on rising up and striking his body while he uttered cries of pain. That being was a deer hunter in this same Rajagaha. SN.19.7 Uzaloma Sutta, Arrow Hairs I saw a man with body hairs of arrows moving through the air. Those arrows kept on rising up and striking his body while he uttered cries of pain. That being was a torturer in this same Rajagaha. SN.19.8 Susloma Sutta, Needle Hairs I saw a man with body hairs of needles moving through the air. Those needles kept on rising up and striking his body while he uttered cries of pain. That being was a horse trainer in this same Rajagaha. SN.19.9 Tudiya Susloma Sutta, Needle Hairs, 2. I saw a man with body hairs of needles moving through the air. Those needles entered his head and came out from his mouth, they entered his mouth and came out from his chest, they entered his chest and came out from his belly, they entered his belly and came out from his thighs, they entered his thighs and came out from his calves, they entered his calves and came out from his feet, while he uttered cries of pain. That being was a slanderer in the same Rajagaha. N19.10 Kumbanda Sutta, Pa Testicles I saw a man whose testicles were like pots moving through the air. When he walked, he had to lift his testicles onto his shoulders, and when he sat down he sat on top of his testicles. Vultures, crows, and hawks, following him in hot pursuit, were stabbing at him and tearing him apart while he uttered cries of pain. That being was a corrupt magistrate in the same Rajagaha. YouTube video Buddhist Sutras https colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash user slash lich one two nine